Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite the Explosive. Well, let's crack into another one. Well, we did an episode last week. We did. Um, you know, full disclosure, we don't record an episode every single day. No. And so we record, you know, a few at a time and we uh, we try to keep it as current as we can in that process. Well, let's, let's keep it a buck. We recorded it on a Friday. These MFers dropped four new tracks on that, that Friday. Basically that night and the next day. <laughs> right? So We can't keep up with it all. So, yeah. We're talking so, a little bit more about Kendra and Drake. We're going to keep it short because we understand there's some beef fatigue going on out there. It's a lot. Sometimes I eat so much steak, I can't even have any more. I got beef fatigue. It's, <laughs> it's right? It's thing. a lot. So, essentially, we went. We had an entire episode where I went over the first four tracks. Um, basically, I had to say that Euphoria was one of the best tracks. And now we're on to the next four, Jonas. You haven't heard a lot about them. I know gonna, some things. I'm just going to tell you right now is that I'm proud to say that Drake won the beef. Yeah, let's go, baby. O-B-O oh, in the house. It's unequivocal. Hands down. Drake, baby. Let's go, Joni. Why aren't you clapping? Clap. <laughs> He didn't write his own songs. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, if I had five people writing my beef songs, I'd probably would try to say listen. that one too. Yeah, well, look, if I was Kendrick and I was getting fed fake information about some daughter and then I popped that into a song, I feel like that invalidates a whole like grouping of verses and a whole grouping of verses that were in the past. I mean, it is pretty funny that, make, they, that they planted some fake info. All right, so there's a lot of people out there saying it's like, how are you going to how are you going to feed info that's more interesting that only makes the song stronger? And I, I, I have to kind of agree with that. And uh, I don't know if I, if I would ever say anyone won anything where their defense is, I'm not a pedophile because I'm too famous. <laughs> so, I mean, how can you say you won anything when you say that? That's not – he's like, I'm too rich for that. Oh I'm like, excuse me? What's oh, I just want to get the thing straight, Jonas, because like I hear what you're saying, and it sounds to me like you're not convinced that Drake won this beef. I, I, all I know is from everything that I've read about it, Kendrick's, Kendrick's getting more listens, and Drake's listens are going down. Okay, so not look, just on the beef songs, just on his tr- stuff okay, in general. So look, the hard part six has one of the hardest lines in this entire beef at the end of it, where he talks about Kendrick Lamar essentially... Uh, his one of his children being the children of one of his friends or one of his like co-producers or something. I don't even know the, the complete relationship. Okay. He talks about the fact that one of your children is not yours. You don't see your children. You hit your wife. And uh, then he says, it's like all the shit that you're talking about for me, this whole daughter ish and all this other, this, this pedophile ish. It's all funny on paper, but when it comes down to it, none of that ish is true. And all this sh- that Drake is talking, he claims to be true. He says he's got proof. Well, why don't he, he put it on the paper proof. then? Why don't he lay it out? Why don't he put it on channel six? <laughs> Now let's let's keep it a buck, Jonas. Shortly after they re, they they had those those tracks released, there was also a shooting that occurred at Drake's home. Yeah, because he he Kendra kind of docks Drake's house with the picture. Did he dox his house? Look, uh, man. Yeah. So if you go if you actually go to that area, you Drake's house is on like a tour. So they'll go like you know celebrities. Oh, they're like, oh, here's where Drake writes doesn't write get his own lyrics. Yeah. So the compound is on a tour, so it's not like it's 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 not it's public knowledge. Like you really can't hide. You just hope that you have enough security. But, to yeah, run. but he lives in an area that has like security guards. And we're not gonna sit up here in front like Kendrick sent guys to go shoot at Drake in his house. No. <laughs> like I don't think Drake was there for it, it one did, thing. It didn't get that deep, but but it did end up injuring a security guard. Yes. You know, my my condolences go out to him. And since then, no new songs have been released. And I felt they it was probably safe. have like ten more on deck, and they're like, mm, probably not a good environment to climb. It's it, not good enough for this. Yeah, it gets kind of nasty. So this what we have on screen right now is the heart part six. And I think it's probably one of the best. Like, I know what I said about Euphoria. I know what I said. Mm-hmm. Euphoria is honestly, I feel like, one of the best. So Drake flipped songs. you. This song right here, the hard part six, one of the best beef songs I've ever heard. One of the best lines, when he, especially when he brings up uh, the fact that all of these things he has about Kendrick. It just seems like nobody cares, Jonas. Why does nobody care? About We're what? Ta- okay, so everybody cares about calling Drake a pedo. 
Right? I would say that people care about that, yeah. And that, and that leads us into uh, not not this song, but they not like us, Jonas. That's the song after this song. <laughs> after the straight to his yeah. kid, the this one he made the, to his boy. Yeah. yeah, this is the song he actually stepped on uh, Family Matters with. This is Meet the Grams. But the They Not Like Us, Jonas, I, I can't lie, man. It's a catchy song. The only reason Kendrick won this battle, Wait Jonas. Wait a second. You just, I, I, you just OVO'd yourself into a corner. I know, man. But everybody's saying Kendrick won. And I understand that Kendrick, that the Heart Part 6 has more dislikes than like on, on streaming services. I understand that Kendrick Lamar's streaming went up 50% and Drake's has dropped by like 10, 20%. I understand that all of these things are true. But we got to keep it a buck. Drake has been influential to the culture for 20 plus years. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been listening to Drake since I was a kid. Like, I'm not going to sit up here and is, is everybody piled up on him. And once the, the thing that even sparked this beast was three motherfuckers on a song. And then one guy had to rap about him. But all three of these motherfuckers on the song were friends of Drake's. Drake took Kendrick on his very first tour and put money in this guy's pocket. Enough money that he was able to spark a fucking career. So Rick Ross, who also released a diss track, we ain't even going to talk about that because it's irrelevant. Kanye West, irrelevant. But both of those individuals released a diss track to the guy. Kanye admits that Drake has wrote multiple songs. Rick Ross admits that Drake has wrote and written multiple songs. He has put money in all of these guys' pockets what the hell is your goddamn problem that now all of you have to come from my neck? A2, Brute. Nah, fuck that shit, Jonas. This is disgusting behavior. This is disgusting. Be- I honestly, I find it disgusting. I find it deplorable that it's everybody. A mutiny. It, it's not even a mutiny. It it's is a mutiny because he was captain of the ship and he still is. It's not no, like he no. lost. He didn't it's, lose his spot. No. But it does, it does hurt. It hurts my heart to see. A person who we held in such high regard, and I understand it's like he's just a man, and I don't really care. I don't care. I don't really care. But I do find it kind of disgusting that we, a, a person we held in high regard, has given us such good, good, good music over the years. We now looking at him and we saying they not like us, and we calling them ov hoes, and we talking about certified lover boy, certified pedophile. I'm not. I'm not joining that camp. Yeah, man. I, can't I do. do that. I do have a question before. before you had a very strong opinion. Drake won. About J. Cole. What about him? About how he was no longer respected in the rap game for yeah. apologizing. Yeah, we don't talk and about And then him. after and then after all of this, everyone's saying like J. Cole looks like a genius for sitting this one out. <clears throat> does he look like a genius? Or does he look like he was like, uh this is beyond me? Like, I still say that this is a stain that will forever mark J. Cole's jacket. I stand on that. Because even if it was going to get as dirty, and it has gotten pretty dirty. When you're talking about another. Maybe J. Cole has skeletons in his closet he didn't want people to talk about. That part. (laughs) So there was a part in that speech where he was talking about it hurt my soul. And I couldn't speak at night and sit right with my spirit. (laughs) Wow. There's one part in that speech where he says. It took me back to a time where I was acting wild a couple years ago. These guys are digging up dirt. They're spending their they're spending their money to dig up dirt on each other. J. Cole probably got some dirt that he don't necessarily need brought out to his wife, to the fans. J. Cole was doing dirt, but he was the nice guy. He was, you know, he's always been like, I don't I don't do features like I just do my own music. I'm just a guy out here making rap. Exactly. And it come out, yeah, it come out. He was like, J. Cole sitting up there. Something. He's like, white people love me. I'm not, you know, I'm kind of racially ambiguous. I got kind of like that whole, <laughs> you know, he's got that Bruno Mars kind of look going on. <laughs> you know, Christ. I went to college. You know, he's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's the kind, he's the kind of black guy that like Rebecca could bring home to mom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So we don't need him to be in that camp of like, oh, J. Cole's been doing some wild shit. He's cheating on his wife. You know, we don't need to know. Okay. We don't need to know. Yeah. And I 21... just saw a lot of memes about like J. Cole right now. And it's just, it was just a bunch of funny memes. So, I mean, it, and it's, it's big facts, man. J. Cole looked like he's playing 3D chess right now by being a bitch a week, two weeks ago. Now, when it comes down to it, Jonas, a lot of rappers do have dirt. When it comes to the two titans of the game, Jonas, I'm glad to see that Drake and Kendrick duked it out. 
It was one of the, in fact, I will say it is, this is the quintessential most influential time in rap ever. Because really? we've had beasts before. Like, you can go back and you can say Big E, Smalls, and Tupac. Yeah, there was rap beef there. There was plenty of tracks released, man. And it, tragically, I can't put that above this only because of the fact that it did get too deep. Now, well, this, yeah, well, and back then they couldn't release music like they can. No, now. You, you no, can't just no, have a home no, studio no, and you no, can put no, out, no. like, you can record six songs on the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to sit down and dig up some Drake dirt tonight and just write a track. Yeah. Like, you know, it ain't. But yeah, it got disgusting in this beef, man. And I hope, I, honestly, I feel like this you know, I, I don't I'm, think I'm just a little done. bummed that it it got out of control and somebody got shot. Because this is why we can't have nice things. You know, that's a whole. Yeah, so, but that somebody wasn't, went that wasn't too far. Them, though. That was well, right, but I mean, an asshole fan. I well, feel. that's what I mean. Is like this is why we can't have nice things. Like yeah. it was going, it was doing its thing. It was awful. And then someone has to get shot, and now they're like, you know, let's not fan the flames. People yeah. people are a little riled up about this. There's always one. So so you you really you st- you gonna stand on that hill that Kendrick won, huh? Is that what you gonna you gonna stand? You on literally that? just said Kendrick won. No, I, I don't. You believe said that. both won. Why are you flip flopper? Because I think that Drake won. You, then why'd you say Kendrick won? Drake won. You then <laughs> said Kendrick won. I feel that. Dr- okay, look. Okay, so who won the beef? Kendrick won because he came out with shoo, shoo, and, you know, certified lover board, certified pedophile, and they not like us. They, he came out with anthems. He came out with catchy things that he said over and over and over again in the song. Freaking they not like us is the same verse like three times, man. I, I, like, I, I don't understand how this is a, a club bop. It's, it's a catchy tune. Drake didn't do that. Drake came out with fact after fact after fact, hit after hit after hit. All that Kendrick did was say that you you like young girls. Now, there is, there is credibility to him saying that because there's been uh, times where Millie Bobby, Millie Bobby Brown and there's been another young lady that he spoke to, but she was 18 at the time, but he was still like, you know, 25, What 26, about the videos 30? where he brought the girl on stage and was kissing on her neck and stuff and then goes, oh, wait, how old are you? Oh, wait, don't tell me. I could get in trouble for this. Yes, and I like the way your breasts feel on that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, I mean, yes. that's, I, I that's, that that's kind of like the exact example so, that I mean, all of this, if nothing else, that's a pretty good example right there. All right, Jonas, when you decide to load up the old porn hub, Jonas, let's just talk about you for a minute <laughs> okay. here. Okay. I'm gonna talk about you. Uh, are you looking for 42 year old women? <laughs> but I'm. Not or are you looking for 20 year olds? I'm not looking. Let's keep it, it a buck. Ma- if I'm looking for 20 year olds, they're still of age. Yes. And I'm not questioning it. Yes. Homeboy's like, how old are you? Oh wait. But he. Bro, all I'm saying is that young girls is one thing, but uh, pedophilism is a totally. Do you totally grope first, ask second, or do you ask first, grope second? Drake ain't a PDF. Do you think that Drake has a daughter? Do you think he has a daughter? I don't care. I don't care. I didn't care that he had a son. (laughs) He ain't got a daughter. I hope he does. It's it's all just... Look. What counts is... It's cool. What counts is that if you're in an argument, Jonas, it doesn't matter what the truth is. It's about who's funnier. Wow. Is that what... Yes. Is that what Yes. Yes. (laughs) Wow. Yes. 100%. A hundred percent, because I could spit a whole bunch of truth. I could be like, "Uh, your mom doesn't love you. Uh, you, wow. you only get three dollars to eat lunch every day at school. Uh, you can't finish your homework because you have learning disability." But as soon as you say something like, "Uh, your dick's too small," you won. Is that what- I feel like that is what's happening. Drake is bringing up real shit. Kendrick's like, "Your dick's too small." That's what he said. Didn't he bring up something about showing off his penis on a video? I don't know. I thought he did. <laughs> I don't. I didn't actually listen to the songs. Wow. So you're talking truth, not facts. That's all the time we have for this <laughs> episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.